politicians make for strange bedfellows. It's very well known. There is nothing new about it. But when in a party like the Bharatiya Janata Party, there is an internecine trouble, when there is a skirmish, you want to raise your eyebrows and think, really? But we thought it was a Kader-based party. And let me not mince any words. So far as South is concerned, it is the BJP which has some kind of a leg in in Karnataka. BJP has not been able to break this bastion anywhere else. So what's going on? Let's start the story today. The story is of Karnataka, like I said. Prime Minister Narendra Modi is majorly focused on South Indian states. And if there is one state, like I said, he and BJP cannot afford to ignore, then it is Karnataka. The main reason being that the BJP ruled Karnataka before it bowed down to the Congress in 2023. Second, if one talks about the Lok Sabha elections in 2019, the BJP won 25 out of 28 seats in the state, with an additional seat being won by an independent supported by them. Now, while sitting in the opposition, the BJP story in Karnataka is riddled by an additional impediment and that being the open rebellion by senior leaders over denial of seats in the impending 2024 Lok Sabha elections. I'm turning to that camera and I'll tell you why. So, ladies and gents, that's what we are talking about today. Rebellion brews in Karnataka BJP. Right in the middle is former chief minister and a strongman in Karnataka BJP, B.S. Yadurappa. Then his old comrade Ishwarappa on this side is former chief minister yet again Sadananda Gauda. Unlike earlier times, this time around the strong influence of BSY like he's called popularly and his son that is state unit president B.Y. Vijendra is very apparent. The first indication was the manner in which B.L. Santosh once seen as Chanakya for Karnataka had been sidelined as he was openly blamed for the party's poor performance in 2023. Former Chief Minister, two-time winner from Bengaluru North, as also former Union Minister Sadananda Gauda, was benched and he came out openly and said, I feel humiliated. And he was bemoaning his fate that he had been humiliated in this fashion. What is the reason? The reason is Union Minister Shobha Karan Laje, a close confidant of Yadurappa, shift from Udupi Chikkamagalur seat to Bengaluru North. On the day of his birthday, Sadananda Gauda, happy birthday Mr. Gauda, Mr. Gauda announced that he shall make an announcement tomorrow and is actually mulling over changing his party. Sadananda Gauda said and I quote him, the reports that are coming in media are true. Various political leaders have approached me. I am not denying that. The BJP leaders have also held a meeting with me. Today is my birthday. I will discuss it with my family, announce my decision on Tuesday. So let's wait. Ladies and gentlemen, let's wait for Tuesday when Sadananda Gowda will speak. Ninaratri Namapakshada Uba Pramuka Padat Karigalo Nayakru Nanali Bandu. Nanana Santon Maduanta, Matun Prat Nagarana or Madida, Nija. Wherever the Sangatagal and Nadita, the way, Undu Dina Purtiagi, Nana Kutuma Dor Jete, Abiman Galajete, Yidu Kondo, Amele, Purti Nishagal and Madi Matanimum de Baruanta Prat Nagaran Martin, Berebere, Vidamanagalu, Dehali, Ili Nadan Tadu, Nani Gatarbake Purti Mahiti Day, Nanu Chunavana Rajakaran and the Duran Ilbe Kuntahel on Tavana, Yelu Tando. Nive Nilbe Kunta Rajada, Yola, Pramukar Heli Kone Antadale, Nana Rakshanaki Baradan, Nanga, Unchur Mujurum to Madonta, Kelsakaragan, and Madidare. Yava Tirmana, Tekolaveku, Yakan Telere, Rajakaranadale, Yerupergolo, Mujurago, the Swabavika. Adre Tilkundo, Swarta Kagi Arno, Balikodonta, Kelsakaragan, and Madidaka Manski Novak. A party with the difference in the Helo and Tadali, Yen Udila, Karnataka Rajada. If Sadananda Gauda makes the shift, will the BJP have a major disadvantage in so far as Vokalega votes are concerned? We shall find out. The other leader who rejoined the BJP after having joined the Congress 
is Jagadish Shetar and today, despite his so-called ghar wapsi, he is waiting the party to make a decision about will he, won't he, from Belagavi. Many names are doing the rounds as an alternative to Mr. Shetar. Mangala Angadi, Ramesh Katti, Murugesh Nirani and Anna Sahib Jole. Even as Nalin Kumar Katil was denied a ticket from Dakshina Karnataka and sources say perhaps because of his proclivity to shoot off his mouth, the man who along with BSY is credited for having given the BJP the arms, legs, feet, head in Karnataka, KS Ishwarappa is very angry and has decided to stand as an independent from Shimoga. His resentment with the party came to the fore when his son Kantesh was denied a ticket from Haveri and given to former Chief Minister Baswaraj Bommai. Ishwarappa alleged that the state unit is now captive in the hands of the father-son duo BSY and his son Vijendra. He said, and I'm quoting him, I want the organization to survive. The party should not go into the clutches of one family. The party may issue notice to me or even expect me. Idi Desha the Jara Narendra Modi Urunam Devrunt and Kundere Ideshavana Vishwa the Lake Gauru Taritil Pretna Martyr Narendra Modi Anta Desha the Jenera Devru Narendra Modi Uru You to Shumaga Nagarik Bartaradu Nani Nana Devrena Muri Bandare Anesto Santosha acted. Aurige Shumaga Jilia Janate Parvagi Nan Shumaga Ke Santos Dinda Swagatona and Korta is the name. Our Barta is the name. Our Ashirwada Nam Jilla Weirdly, Raja Queerly, Deshi Queerly, Nan Weirdly and Telly, Abhagwan Trali, Pratne Martene, our Narendra Mudi or Kansan and Ansmada the Kil, Navel Pratna Martivi, Anta, but they were Namuri Barta, the Nitukutumba, Santosha, Nan our Karakramadali Irakagala, David and Nikshamsi, Nanu. ಈ ಶಿವಮಗ್ಗ ಜಿಲ್ಲೆಯ ಜನರ ಆಶೀರ್ವಾದವನ್ನು ಪಡೆದು ಖಂಡಿತ ಲೋಕಸಭೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಗೆದ್ದು ನಿಮ್ಮತ್ರನೇ ಬರ್ತೀನಿ ಅನ್ನಂತ ಒಂದು ಆಶ್ವಾಸನೆಯನ್ನು ಇವತ್ತು ನರೇಂದ್ರ ಮೋದಿ ಅವರು ಕೊಡ್ತಾ ಶಿವಮಗ್ಗ ನಗರಕ್ಕೆ ತುಂಬಾ ಸಂತೋಷದಿಂದ ಅವರನ್ನ ಸ್ವಾಗತ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ no doubt ichwarappa praised prime minister modi but he is defiant means no words when it came to his old comrade bsy how will the bjp manage with such a mood within the party but it also impacted standing amongst the two dominant groups, Lingayats and Vokaligas, this time around for the Lok Sabha elections 2024. Before we go on with this debate, and I uh, welcome all the guests on the show, let's listen into what Prime Minister Modi said today. Char Junko Char So Par. चार जून को 400 पार के मिशन में कर्नाटका की आप सभी मतदाताओं की बहुत बड़ी भूमिका है और इसलिए आखिर करे 400 सीटें की बात क्यों कर रहे हैं हम ये 400 सीटें क्यों विकसित भारत के लिए 400 पार विकसित भारत के लिए विकसित भारत के लिए विकसित कर्नाटक के लिए विकसित कर्नाटक के लिए गरीबी कम करने के लिए गरीबी कम करने के लिए आतंक पर प्रहार करने के लिए प्रस्ताचारियों पर कार्रवाई के लिए किसानों की समृद्धि के लिए युवाओं के नए अवसर देने के लिए इबारी नानुरु मिरी इबारी इबारी 
and let me now introduce you to the guest Bhaskar Hegde, my colleague, editor, TV9, Kannada Digital is with us, GS Prashant, spokesperson for the BJP, also joining us Dr. Basvaraj Itnal, senior journalist and Roja Khandat, senior journalist, all of them have now joined us and let's decode what's going on, where does it all begin, how will it all end, Namaskara to all of you, Bhaskar, great to see you. You know, Bhaskar, tell me something, this, what has happened today? Everything has a bit of history, you know. Do you think it's a culmination of opposition to Vijendra Bhaskar? You know, remember that V. Somanna, Yatnal, Bellad, Jarkioli, they had all come to Delhi in December, they had protested. Is that, uh, like I said, that, that opposition to Vijendra became so matured like a pickle that today it's like taken huge proportions, Bhaskar. Sudhar, not necessarily in that way, because in politics, what happens if you get ticket, Vijayendra becomes hero, Vijayendra becomes, uh, uh, you know, the hero of our party. And if you don't get ticket, then certainly you will blame uh, Vijayendra. And naturally, because he, since he's BSP's son, it's quite obvious that they have to take uh, um, Rich. Uh, so that's one point. So the very interesting point is in Karnataka, at least uh, in uh, nine consciences if you see the developments there are one kind or the other kind of uh, differences of opinion or uh, open rebellion is witnessed now there are two parts one is those who are groomed by rss they are revolting and rebelling against the party those who are not like v sovana who comes from janta parivar to bjp he had a, some kind of uh, murmur till he was given ticket now that he got a ticket for uh, tumkur He's very happy. But whereas in Tumkur also, the former minister J.C. Madhuswami is against uh, Somana and he's openly issuing statements. So likewise in Mandya, where Sumalata is having some issues, a party is yet to decide whether to feel her or not, some kind of confusion between JDS and Sumalata. Likewise, at least in 11 or 12 consensus, if you see the category, those from RSS groomed like Ishwarpa, Sadanand Gauda, openly rebelling. And in some consensus like Polar and Chikbalapur, where the party is yet to announce candidates, you can see murmur, rebellion, which is not come out yet. What about Baswaraj Bombay then? He also comes from a secular Janata Dal kind of an atmosphere. He's got a war, he's got a seat in Haveri. No, I think uh, his problem has been solved. Even though Ishwarpa's son wanted to feel, I mean, get a ticket from Haveri, now Ishwarpa has shifted his focus to Shumoga and he's about to defeat Raghavendra, uh, BSY's son, who is a party candidate, BJP candidate from Shumoga. So, therefore, I think Basura Bhumai's case is uh, solved and uh, it looks like it appears to be a kind of uh, no rebellion in Haveri. G.S. Prashant, I want to ask you this. You know, in a cadre based discipline party like the BJP, there are now accusations of dynastic politics and from someone like Ishwarappa, who we all know, he, they, the way he and BSY used to travel in bicycles and kind of, you know, uh, propagate the coming up of the BJP, they actually put the brick and the mortar for BJP. What is going on in the Karnataka unit, Prashant? So definitely both uh, Mr. Edirappa and Ishwarappa are very tall leaders of the party and we have great respect for them. Now coming to the statement by Mr. Ishwarappa, at no point in time he has criticized the party, he has not criticized the leadership, he has not criticized the Prime Minister, no. He seems to have a frustration in him that his son has not got a ticket and therefore is venting his anger and frustration. So therefore. He might have made some statements today saying he wants to contest his independence, so on and so forth. But at the end of the day, he is a loyal party soldier and we are sure that he would not take any decision which would hurt the BJP. And uh, uh, fine, he is now a little frustrated and upset that his son has not got a ticket and he is making some personal accusations. So BJP is not getting into a personal accusation made by one of the leaders against other. I think they have been friends for more than 50 years now. And I'm sure that they will uh, sort it out over a cup of coffee. Yes, Prashant. Uh, with uh, Ishwarapa and Edurapa, yes. 
Of course, you are absolutely right. You know, if I fight with my friend, it is for some time, then we will get together. But this is a political party, G.S. Prashant. When he is very miffed about Kantesh not getting a ticket, if you were in the opposition and this happens, you will say, Acha putra moh ne aapko itna gumra kar diya ki aap jo hai sab kuch bhul gaye. You have forgotten the mariyada of a party, etc., etc. So let's understand one thing. It is unfortunate. But it has happened. I am sure you will solve it. Dr. Itnal, you know, Ishwar Appa, like Prashant was saying that yes, he is maybe frustrated due to some personal reasons. But you know, we know that he was asked to sit out after the 40 percent Sarkara allegation at the time of the assembly polls. But Dr. Itnal, tell me something. Can you deny him the importance? He is an OBC face, right? A very tall OBC face. Also, Shivamukha is his bastion. He started there. I mean, years after years, voters know him, you know. Do you think he can turn the tide for, you know, himself, not anymore the BJP in the coming elections? Has the BJP made a kind of a blunder by pushing Kantesh back? No, this kind of uh, uh, frustrations during election uh, time is common. Uh, just uh, last year, Yadirupa was frustrated. Hmm. You know, but before that also, uh, Yadirupa was so frustrated that he had to go out and form KJP. So this frustration and the jubilation is part of the game here. Hmm. Number one, number two, as you are trying to, uh, you know, make uh, Ishwarapa a significant uh, uh, player uh, who can uh, turn the tides for. Uh, any political party may be uh, not fully correct. He is, yes, he is a, he is a tall uh, Kuruba community leader, but he is not the sole leader, number one. Number two, uh, he doesn't have uh, the kind of uh, mass following uh, like Edirapa has. The problem in last year between Edirapa and uh, RSS was that the RSS, uh, represented by B.L. Santosh and Prahlad Joshi, were relentlessly trying to underplay him, underplay Edirapa and Edirapa fact. Right. Uh, and that's not the only only uh, uh, first time. Earlier also they had tried. They had tried in uh, uh, 2013. They had tried earlier also. So every time they have, they have done that, they have failed. So BJP in Karnataka, they have more or less they are clear now that Edirapa is a factor you cannot dispense with, and you must go with Edirapa for any uh, political prospects in the state, whether you have uh, a huge Hindu uh, wave or right. whatever. It's not, <clears throat> it is not like Modi comes to Karnataka and everybody will vote for Modi. It doesn't happen so. Right. So, We're you not know. I've seen that earlier also. Mm -hmm. So, the thing is, BJP has realized that whether, whether RS is happy, whether uh, their uh, classic argument, uh, Parivar War, does it, uh, you know, fit into, sit into that, right. that kind of narrative? No. But it is political compulsion. Right. I have to go to if Roja. I, if, but if at all, if, yeah. uh, Sudha, if at all we have to credit, we have to credit Yadirappa because he has made himself inevitable time and again, time and again for BJP, even in his 80s. He is indispensable. Uh, he is, uh, you know, Yadurappa, they made a mistake during assembly elections and they realized that here is a man who knows the state like the back of his palm, so we cannot. But imagine he is facing, you know, lots of allegations and one being Roja, I want to ask you something. You know, when you look at elections, when you look at any kind of a rebellion brewing, you look at the after effects. This, like Dr. Itnal said, it will go on. You denied me a ticket, I am miffed and I am sulking. What, what about the Lingayat and Vokaliga votes, Roja? I mean, you know, you remember assembly elections when they, you know, because of Lakshman Savadi and also Jagdi Shetter, BJP had to suffer a lot. And now, if you look at it, Sadananda Gauda, C.T. Ravi, Shetter, they said that, you know, Jagdish Shetter, what would have worked is, uh, uh, you know, uh, Hubli, Dharwad, Haveri and Belgaum. Even now, there is a big question mark on Belgaum. How will it impact them, considering they are in the opposition and they are seen as a divided house, Roja? Unlike the previous speakers, I would like to say that the scene on the ground is pretty bad. How much ever we try to <laughs> act otherwise because the rebellion has come after a very bad uh, loss in assembly elections like they say success has many fathers but failure is an orphan so nobody knows why bjp lost so badly in the assembly elections and the situation on the ground presently is that many districts are drought prone now we can uh, sit and discuss about rss and bjp background but for the person on the uh, you know voting list 
uh, he's got free electricity, he's got free bus pass, but then there's no water to drink. So whether Yadiyurupa got booked under POXO or whether Ishwarapa has not gone for uh, PM Modi's rally, it really doesn't matter to the voter as long as he's not got his water to drink or to cook. So the situation could be pretty bad when uh, it's an MP election already. The crowd is a little distanced. It's not like your corporator or MLA elections. It just goes under the name or a face of Modi. So if there is rebellion like this from various factors, there are many more uh, rebellion stories which have not been mentioned in your uh, uh, you know, report. It's going to be a pretty bad scene for the BJP in Karnataka. I mean, she does not mince her words, Roja. As always, shooting from the hip. And that's why I love a woman or many women on the panel. You know, they will speak their mind. And I picked up this story, like she said, it is only the tip of the iceberg, Sudha. You do not know how much fighting is going on. Not that I'm happy. Every poly. After all, a journalist is happy when the story hits the nail. Uh -huh. Baskar, tell me something that I don't understand one thing also is that this time around it seems like the central leadership hasn't had a major role to play. Last time during assembly elections there was an allegation, oh central leadership is deciding everything, BL Santosh is deciding everything. Now it seems like the state leadership and the father-son duo BSY and BYV, uh, they are the ones who are actually deciding on who will and who will not. Do you think that this time around the central leadership seems to have thought that they really did not do a great job last time? So let the state unit take over, Bhaskar. So the, I think uh, this might be a different case in the sense, generally when it comes to parliament election, <clears throat> particularly Narendra Modi and Amit Shah will take extra care, they walk extra mile to pick candidates. I don't think uh, they might have given a free hand to B.S. Europe and his son Vijayendra. Certainly, they might have given inputs both, but the final calls might have been taken by Amit Shah and Narendra Modi because end of the day, that is their survival and it is this the famous uh, what the call they have given, this is what Charsopa. So to, to cross that for, for a remark, they need to win every single seat. So to, to get that, so they will go to any extent to either pick candidate or anything. The entire process will be scrutinized, sanitized, everything All right. by these two. So therefore, I don't think they will, they might have uh, given give it to only these two. Baskar, but you know, it seems like if they have to win every seat, it looks with this kind of a rebellion and what also Roja said and what we researched and put out, it seems like it's going to be a very difficult task ahead and uh, let me ask Prashant. Prashant, tell me something. Shobha Karanlaje, tall leader, very impressive, union minister, close associate of uh, BSY. But tell me something, when she performed so poorly in her earlier bastion of Udupi Chikkamagudur, why is it that she was shifted? Why was she considered? Because what I heard, I saw Kannada channels, some of them on my own channel, where I heard BSY saying that it is winnability. It is about what you can bring to the table. Then how does Shobha kind of, how do you justify Shobha? See, firstly, what happened in Udupi Chikmangalore or why she was shifted. If you even talk to the local uh, leaders there, they were only mentioning that she was not able to spend time in the constituency. Being a union minister, obviously, she would be not able to spend as much time as a uh, only member of parliament would do. Apart from that, there is no great resentment against her or her work and the work is largely noticed by everybody. And therefore, and in the past, Sadhananda Gauda himself had announced his retirement from electoral politics and he said he doesn't want to contest any longer. Only after that, when probably some of them were repeatedly asking him, do you want to contest? Are you not feeling bad? Probably he came out and said, look, uh, I will want to contest. But if you look at his statements probably a month ago, two months ago, three months ago, he has made it clear time and again that he wishes to retire from right. electoral politics right. and he was wanting to do party work. All right, Prashant. Uh, Dr. Ritnal, actually because of Bihar, I have completely kind of, because I spent time there, yes. uh, my apologies to all of you. Dr. Ritnal, quickly, you know, I want to ask from you that if this happens, what Roja also says and what it seems like, 
that it will be a very difficult sailing for the BJP. Do you think that Vijendra will also be, you know, it will be a disadvantage Vijendra because this is his first time that he has to prove himself. So no, it's a kind of a game a against the Yadrapa. That's why he has been uh, uh, charged with the uh, state unit. This is a challenging situation, no, no, no doubt about it. No, but it's That's also, exactly why they are taking decisions they are comfortable with. No, but it's Among also that, two, sir, sir, uh, it, uh, it can also, sir, it can also mean that if he fails, then it is kind of curtains for him. You know, they absolutely, will say, absolutely, can, yeah. absolutely. Huh. I, I'm hearing that that is the that is the idea behind it. Why is that? Command, you know? How, how, yeah, how, yes. how, why, why would you do that, doctor? Why would you do that? Because you know, see, there is one uh, segment of BJP that wants somehow to undermine Edirapa's influence, Edirapa and his family's influence. All right. At the same time, Edirapa and his company, they're trying to increase their, uh, you know, uh, significance in the party. There, there, there is always this power struggle in that party. All right. Having said that, see, that's that's why they are made, uh, uh, you know, in, in a difficult time like this. Vijayendra has been given the uh, charge of the state right. that to ahead okay. of uh, uh, parliament elections. All and right. what Roja said is correct. You know, the state is going through uh, the reeling with the uh, right. crowd situation. There is Bangalore is a drinking water problem. All right. that, right? All but right. the discussion here is not about what would be what would be All the right. factors in front of yeah, the water. I, I, yeah, we are talking yeah. about. We are talking about the infighting in BJP and how it is going to pan out. All right. You, you, as far uh, as the sector is concerned, uh, uh, two minutes, I, if I can uh, complete this I have points. just one minute, so I have to go to Roja. Sir. Up, up, yes, sir. As far as Shatter is concerned, Shatter himself is not sure whether he wants to uh, wants contest from Belgium or not. All and right. uh, uh, the Shoba factor, Shoba, they ran a campaign in Udupi Chikmanku saying, go back Shoba. All right. Okay. And that's now, where Sitri was trying to, but, uh, trying a chance. But, but Roja... It will be such a tragedy, Roja, it will be such a tragedy for Jagadish Shetter. Imagine he comes back thinking Lok Sabha and he's just sitting there completely unsure about what is going to happen. Look at the messaging, Roja. It sends out a message that we actually do not know what we are doing, but we are doing. No, that is certainly going to work because if you see earlier elections, there used to be mm. dissidents, but it used to happen at a very uh, small level where a couple of people who didn't get tickets would speak against the carder. But here they still rever Modi, they still say I am for BJP, but mm. they are saying that I am going to stand as an independent. They are against Congress because Congress is into dynasty politics, but they want their sons to get promoted in BJP. So mm. the message that is going across as a strategist, election strategist, you can say, is, you know, uh, not homogeneous. So people are also going to vote like that, and it's going to be a split vote.